clean, intelligent, and reliable. That's what we expect future cars to be like. And with China's pursuit of green development, it's not surprising that we have seen dozens and dozens of new energy vehicle makers spring up in the past few years, sometimes seemingly out of nowhere. Corporate data platform Tianyan Cha reports that the country now has 198 NEV makers, 150 of them registered in just the three years between 2018 and 2020. The market does not seem impressed by the numbers. I still believe in the well-known local brands. I think they are better than the startups. There are a lot of NEV brands now, but I still prefer the good buys from familiar ones. According to the China Passenger Car Association, some 304,000 NEVs were sold in China last month, but only 13% of them were from the new producers. The large number of NEV firms now means that many are having difficulty getting themselves established, much less developing their business due to the intense competition in the market. Hence, the central government's call last week for acquisitions and restructuring among NEV makers to consolidate the fragmented industry. Experts say consolidation is the only way to help NEV firms concentrate the resources they need. Whether they focus on uh, the full assembly to make the car or the component or a certain specific um, sort of um, raw material um, to supply. Uh, w what we can anticipate is that the survival competition will happen fairly quickly. What they are trying to promote is to really attract uh, more real talent, uh, capitals, in order to really uplift uh, the entire base uh, of this uh, NEV sector. Some auto retailers are hoping for the same thing, as it would allow the auto companies to take advantage of the strong points of the merging firms. Different NEV firms have different advantages. For example, the NEV branches of the traditional big automakers, they have solid supply chains and services while the startups have more intelligent car designs and can better make use of e-commerce and online promotions. Consumers will receive more high-quality products and services from consolidations. In addition to consolidation in an EV industry itself, the central government is also encouraging insurance companies to roll out services that can boost local NEV makers' confidence in using domestically produced microchips as opposed to extensively tested imports, so as to help ease the impact on the industry of recent chip shortages. Ying Money Talks.